Hi guys, Squall here. Welcome to another My Summer Car video. I am swaying a little bit, as you can probably tell. Like, when I'm looking over here, I'm gently kind of rocking around because we got completely wrecked. It's now Sunday, but I mean, we won the, you know, we did win the rally. So, I mean, I think it's fair enough. Uh, well, let's see where we are here. We've got a bucket of killed you, which is um, finished. We've got some bottles of killed you here. Uh, let me just check that's plugged in. Yes, it is. Uh, we've also got some jobs up here. We've got three to do. Still waiting for one to come in. So I might just give that another day. And um, as has actually been pointed out to me on previous videos, we lost the rear bumper. Yeah. Not really sure where I lost it. I think... I remember a comment on a video saying he lost the bumper. I think it was during the rally stage that we lost it. So I need to go and get that back. Which, hopefully, hopefully with a bit of luck, it'll actually be on the tip. We should be good. We've also got some more dents here. We've got one big fat dent right there. And, of course, Wubwub took our door off. In fact, he did this as well. I suspect. The glancing blow took a dent into the car. And then he took the door off. Back at the shop. So, uh, at some point, we're going to be... Oh my god, he's also dented the front. Look at this. It's so hard to keep this car looking good. I wanted to get metallic paint on this thing. But anyway... Anyway, anyway, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, so what's the plan? The plan is, the plan is quite simple. We're going to take the van today. I've not actually driven this thing for ages. There's not much point, really. I mean, you can put the exhaust in here, but other than that, there's not really that much point. So what I thought we'd do, we're going to load up. Uh, we're going to put the diesel in here. Actually, let's, uh, let me just double check if there's any diesel left. Actually, what I'll do, I'll drive over to the tractor, and uh, if there's anything left, I'll put it in the tractor. There's no point doing the truck. We're going to drive up there anyway um, at some point, because we're going to be doing the sewage runs. So let me just see what I did with the other jerry can. Not in here. Uh, because, yeah, I, I for completely forgot to fill it up last time, which was complete GG of me. Actually, what have I done with this thing? There it is. Right, okay. So we're going to take this. Uh, we're going to take those two. We're going to go to the tip. We're going to pick up the sofa, because this is something I've wanted to do for a bit, to be honest. We're going to take the sofa and put it up at the shop. And the reason I'm going to do that is quite simple, just to give us a sofa bed up there. So if ever I get stuck at the shop, I've always got somewhere to sleep, just in case. Because at the moment, the only, place you, only time you can sleep up there is in the back of the truck, which is handy, but I'm not always with the truck, if you see what I mean. So that gives us another bed option. Uh, so we're going to do that. Uh, the other thing is, I, there's been an update to the game, by the way. Uh, this guy just keeps on putting updates out of here. So apparently, the, in the game now, when you when you start the game, random things, there are some parts in the car that can now randomly break. They will wear down and randomly break. So we could be driving along and a part will suddenly break on us. Which is fun. Not really. Uh, the other thing is, the green car will actually bring us home now. So that's something else I want to do uh, at some point. We need to get a lift back from the green car just to test that out. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the magazine. Uh, because there is this thing. Look, there's a new part. This doesn't happen very often. There's a new part, which is like, um, uh, like a fiberglass hood for over the engine. So we're going to order that. 2245 Ridiculous expensive. Completely unnecessary. But I feel compelled to order it anyway. Uh, I don't think there's anything... Actually, what is that? Oh, that's the roll-up... Uh, that's the window tint. I thought we already had that. Apparently not. Did I not order window tint? All right, we'll order the window tint then. I thought I'd already done that. Uh, right, we've got all these things. Nothing new here, nothing new here, and nothing new here. One thing I really would wish you would add is, a, is more mufflers. You know, like a chrome muffler, that kind of thing. Uh, it's really, really annoying having a red muffler and not being able to do anything about it. Right, so we'll get the order. Come here. Squeeze me. Thank you. We'll take the order. We'll put that in the the vent. Uh, let's put that on the passenger side. 
Now we've got some beer in the car. There's a letter there. I don't, I don't trust this game. I swear that he's gonna get. Can you just like? You sit here, on the seat. You can't even do that, can you, game? Okay, well let's just put you in here and just hope that that works. Right, so we've got our order form. Uh, we're gonna take uh, the kill you bottles and the brew with us. This should be interesting, actually. Because what I want to do, I, I thought of a little plan. Now, I hope this thing, I really hope this thing doesn't spill when you tip it upside down, because the chances of it tipping upside down are very, very high. So I'm going to cunningly put that in the car with us. I don't know why I'm doing this. I should just fill the bottles up, to be fair. Let's drive the van over here. It's going to be a lot easier to load that way. Let's close that. I'm going to basically load up all the bottles, uh, just throw them in the back of the van. And then we're going to drive over and basically fill the bottles on site. You know the guy that buys the stuff? I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm going to take the, the whole brewing box up there, the brewing, this thing. What do you call it? Brewing bucket. I'm going to take that and some empty bottles and just fill them up in front of him and then sell them to him. Because I want to know if it works for a kickoff. I like the idea of it. Come on, glow plugs. There we go. Right, let's... Uh Okay, park and break. Let's reverse up here. And can we close the door with this thing? Ooh, nice. Physics with the wind. Alright, we'll leave that running. Put the parking brake on. We'll open the door. Jobs are good. Then. Let's close that door. Uh, now, we've got some full bottles in here. So we're going to take these. And we're going to throw these in the back of the van. Right, I'm just going to... I'm going to load all these up. And then uh, we'll carry on. And there's the last one. Right, there we go. Actually, let's move these over a little bit. Don't want the door to jam in there. Uh, so let's see. We've now got all the empty and full you bottle... Uh, kill you bottles of... I'll say that again. We've now got all the empty and full bottles of kill you. We've got our little letter there. Which we hope is going to stay there. We've got the bottle itself the brew uh and now we're gonna head over to the anything else we need to do let's have a quick drink while we're here we're gonna head over to the tip and see if we can get the sofa and maybe if we're lucky the rear bumper will be there actually let's grab some food because i don't think there's any in the back of the van right now so let's take one of them just in case let's close the door right let's get out of here now i really hope that that bottle that brew there doesn't go moving around when I start driving. Well, I fear it might. Oh, so far so good. Let's get the radio on. See what awesome music's available. Yeah. Not one of my favourite tracks, but it'll do. Oh my... God, I forgot how unstable this thing is. Oh my God, the suspension. I also actually think... Listen to that. Hang on, let me just turn the radio off a sec. Whoa, 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 slow down. The tyre noise. Has it changed, or is it just me? It sounds like it's a... Uh, velvety... kind of... I don't know. It, it sounds like tyres driving on cushions. With a very slight amount of gravel. It sounds very super smooth and nothing like a Toyota Hiace would normally sound. I don't know. Maybe you didn't change it. Maybe it's just me. Alright, I'm going to go down the bottom of the road, turn right. I'm going to head all the way down. Actually, no, I probably shouldn't. I probably should take the main road. It's a lot safer in this thing. Let's go left. Let's play it safe. Down to the bottom road, turn left to the junction, turn right, get on the main road, turn right again. And I'm going to head all the way down the road until we get to the turn-off point for the runway strip. Which is where the, uh, where the, the, the rubbish dump thing is as well. We're going to grab that sofa. Anything coming? Nope. All right, see so you over there. All right, we're almost there. Took a trip around the road, nothing happened, nothing, you know, one one red car went past, that was it, nothing interesting at all. 
Okay, right, let's uh, let's have a look around. We're going to head straight for the, the little portal thing and keep our eye out for the bumper. Maybe it'll be near the portal maybe it won't be. It's completely random. Wait, did I just see something? Maybe not. Did I just see something then? One second. We need to go back and check something. I thought I saw something shiny on the floor. Okay. Right. Okay, so th they've all moved around, and look where the tub ended up. I took a corner and the tub went donk. I just hope that's not spilled. It shouldn't spill. That would be really annoying if it did. Oh my god. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, you sitting there. Oh man. Okay, right. Bumper. Bumper, 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 bumper. Now, things in the system generally end up back here, but it will just throw them anywhere around here. That's the problem. Let me have a look down there. I saw something when we drove in. I thought I did. No, there, there, I did see something. Oh, that's the bumper! Yay! Look how far away it spawned it! Oh my god! Like, literally anywhere on this tip. Look at this! Yay! Bumper rear. I did see something glint. But look how far away it is. I mean, seriously, this is a big tip. If items can spawn anywhere on this tip, that's going to be hilarious. But I mean, it's, I guess it's realistic, right? Because, you know, if a truck just brought a, whole, a load of rubbish and just tipped it on here, it could be anywhere on here. Right, at least it's not buried. Wow, my dirtiness has gone right up being here. Still, we'll take it. Oh god, I hope the letter's in there somewhere. Cool! Well, I'm happy about that. Uh, next job is we're going to drive up to the shop now. We're going to post that letter, which has got our new parts order in. So that's Sunday. I think he's increased the amount of time the order takes as well to come through, so... Uh, we could be looking at, I don't know, it used to be next day. I don't think it's next day anymore. I'm going to, I'm going to guess at two days. So I think we'll get this on, uh, Tuesday, something like that, when the parts come in. So what I want to do is, it's Sunday today, don't know what we're going to get done today, but I want to do the sewage jobs probably Monday, fit the parts on Tuesday. Uh, the car needs to be repaired, really, which is really annoying. Uh, I also need to make sure I've still keep about three grand back for the parts, because that's what it's going to cost me, or about two and a half. So I need to make sure I've got money for that. But the sewage job will bring in some money. If it get really stuck, we'll do the um, the wood chopping job, but we don't. I don't think we need to. Uh, we also need to get the fire extinguisher now. So this is a new thing of the game. We need a fire extinguisher and a bracket. We can get that from Timo's shop, and we have to fit that in the car now. So as part of the rally. Uh, if you don't have it, it won't let you drive in the rally. So that fits just down there under the under the passenger seat. And the theory is that, you know, if you get an engine fire, then you need the extinguisher to put it out. And considering parts can wear down, I think there's an increased chance of an engine fire. Then the next thing we're going to do, having done all of that, we're probably going to leave the van at the shop. I'm assuming my boat is actually... Um, assuming the boat is actually at the shop side, which I think it is, uh, I want to get that back down to the um, uh, our house. So what I'll probably do is take the boat back, and then we need to get back for the van. Oh god, that's all right. We're not speeding. I don't know. He stops you in the van, does he? I've never been stopped in the van before. I'm going to assume he wants me to stop here. Yeah, he does. Wow, this is new. How come he never stops anybody else? That's the question. Oh my god. Dude! Why don't you stop the bus driver? He's clearly speeding. This is outrageous. This is police brutality, mate. You've just got it in for me. You've all got it in for me. Yeah, you sniff that, pal. You give that a good sniff. Mr. Police. What happens if you urinate in front of him? 
He's actually bothered. That is just ridiculous. You should get arrested if you do things like that in front of a, the police officer. Okay, yeah, let's put this away. Parking brake. Come on, game. There we go. Now, this is where we have an increased chance of dying. One of these days, I'm going to test some theories with the police officers. Because I want to know if you drive into them and kill one, what actually happens. And if you smash the car in the truck, what actually happens. I want, I want to answer this. I want to answer these questions. Um, what's the sign for? That should be for the town. The town should be on the right. So yeah, one of these days when we're driving down the truck, I'm going to test some stuff out. Wow, we're here already, blimey. Uh, also, we'll fill up one fuel while we're here. And we're going to fill up the jerry cans, something else that he's doing. Oh, I forgot to fill the tractor. Oh, man. I was going to fill up the, uh, the tractor to make sure. What happens if you give him a little nudge? Hey. <laughs> Let's go and say hi to Mr. Warbub. Hey! Hey, I'm standing to Perajärve. Sorry, you know, but I seem to remember you denting my car. Don't worry, we've got a lot more where that came from. A lot more. I can't remember which side this thing fuels on. Uh, I'm going to say it's right side, but honestly, because it's Japanese. I remember the Japanese did, did it the opposite way in the 90s to everybody else think. Yep, I was right. Hang on. Yeah, because the, like, the Japanese cars, um, when they used to come into the UK anyway, the indicators were on the other side to what everybody was used to. It was really weird. Hang on, can we get that? He better not come anywhere near me. Actually, from this side of the gauges, I should be fine. Okay, let's do that. Also, I don't know why I'm running the engine. Ignition, please. There we go. Get away from me, pal. You weirdo. You psycho. Right, where's my letter? Oh, let's take this out. Okay, we're going to put this, um, we'll put this, where should we put this? We don't want to put it there because the deliveries are there. Let's put it somewhere fun. How about, how about we have a little sleeping point at the pub? That sounds like something cool. Maybe like here. Can we move this? Oh my, can't move it. There we go. <laughs> so now we can just, we can, we can sit, look at this, we can have a beer. On a lovely comfy sofa while everybody sits on horrible plastic chairs. So that's going to make them really jealous. And also we can just go to sleep whenever we want to. All we need here is like a shower outside. And we'll be golden. Right, where's my letter gone? Please don't lose a game. Come on. Are you serious? Are you actually serious, game? I didn't put it in here, did I? Oh, man. Okay, there it is. Oh, man. I honestly thought we'd lost it then. Okay, let's get this thing posted. Let's put that in there like that. Jobs are good in. This guy's still open. Has he got a clock in here? 508, 509. Well, hello, what can I do for you? Hey! There's no clock in here. Don't know what time it is. It's really irritating this game. You can't find what time it is. Okay, right. Let's open that. Let's open that. We'll start off with the diesel. Alright, so it looks like I had filled up the uh, tractor. They said the fuel price is high. I say they haven't seen anything yet. It will more than co cost more than milk one day. Uh, yeah, actually, pretty much right about that, actually. It costs a lot more than milk. It's all the tax, mate. That's what it is. It's not the price of the stuff. They can extract it out the ground and refine it and transport it to you. And then watch as the government slaps 80% on top. 
Okay, 11,300 is the money. I'm thinking this is going to cost about four, 500, something like that. That bank. Don't think we need to get anything else. Supplies-wise. Okay, that's completely full. Lid on that. Let's put the lid on that. Let's drop that in there. Drop that in. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love the physics in this game. Right, let's put the lid back on. Mr. Wobob is still spinning around here. Need to be careful. Um, Squeeze me? Okay, that looks to be in order. Let's go and pay our bill. I can't believe that thing is still there. I thought the game would have cleaned that up by now. Yo! We're gonna need one of these new extinguishers. Um, I'm not sure where you get the bracket from, actually. Dude, do you not sell the bracket to go on the car? Apparently not. That's slightly worrying. How am I supposed to fit it in the car, then? Don't tell me I need to order that online. I will kill you if I need to order that online. Okay, I'm pretty thirsty, actually. I'm going to grab a sausage. We've got plenty of beers in the back of the car. Uh, or we could just have a milk, I suppose. Right, do we need anything else? Is there anything on here? Let's grab a mosquito spray as well. Yeast. Do we need a yeast? Four, five, six. We'll grab some of that. Because I'm not entirely sure what we need. Alright, so, um... I'm not really sure where we get the bracket from. Maybe the bracket's back at the house or something. Oh no, he's giving us a bracket. Oh, cool. Alright. Wait, did you put the fire extinguisher in the... Oh, no, you didn't. I was going to say, did you put this in the bag? How does that work? Let's pop that in there. Okay, I'm going to open that up. Well, well, if the game will let me open it up. Can we open the bag, please? It won't... What the heck? Look at that! The little hand symbol disappears. You have to open it out of the van. Stuff I never knew. Right, throw the bags of sugar in the back. We're going to eat that. We're going to drink that. We're going to throw that in the back. Uh, mozzie spray. We'll put some eau de moz on. Ah, eau de moz. Right, let's go and get the fire extinguisher. We're a bit thirsty as well. Grab a couple of beers. Don't you go shutting on me, pal. Because I need to get these bits here. How does this thing work, anyway? Does this thing come with any instructions? Do you just press the lever? Oh, God. Sorry about that. <laughs> Dude. I'm sorry. Wait, your armpits look like they're on fire. Let me just... There you go. And also, something else is on fire. There we go. Sorted. You can thank me later. No charge for that. I don't know how much how much of this stuff actually... There's no way of telling how full it is. I might have used like half of it. On Timo. <laughs> I can't believe how well he took that. He just stood there like... Ah, that's fine. That's fine. You want to spray me with uh, fire extinguisher. I don't have a problem with that at all. Right, let's get over to the boat. Uh, because what we're going to do now is we're going to drive... Oh, there's one thing that annoys me about this van. It's the placement of ignition. It's the parking brake. Right, let's get to the boat and hopefully it's still there. Uh, because quite frankly, if the boat is not here, I have not got a Scooby-Doo where it is. It's a little bit worrying. Oh god, slow down. Look, yeah, it's here. Cool. Whew, that's good. Alright then, let's get the brake on. We shall leave this thing here. Uh, because we're going to have to get a lift back. And we'll jump on here. Why have I not got any spare fuel? 
I thought I had spare fuel in here. I could swear there was spare fuel in here because if this runs out of fuel, I am really screwed. I don't think I've got any in here. Hmm. I do not trust this game. <laughs> I really don't trust this game. So what I'm going to do... Come on, start up. I swear I left one on top of the boat. Stupid physics. Oh, I can hear whoop whoop. Hey, was there a car there before? I don't remember that car. Maybe I never saw it, but I just don't remember it. Got me screaming past. There's one there as well. I never know if it's my imagination or whether he actually snuck that in and didn't mention it, you know? Right, let me get one of the uh, two stroke fuel. Come on, come on, come on. Pay off. There we go, let's put that in the back. That is safe and sorry. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> I have no idea why I just did that. I've got plans with Mr. Wub Wub. He thinks I've forgotten about that little door incident. Far from it. Oh, no, 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 no! Well, that sucks. I can't believe I just died into a tree. Man, now I've got to drive back there. I mean, I have two vehicles. Right. So now I'm back at my house, and the van is all the way back over there. And so is the boat. That completely sucked. I could bike it back. It's a long way, though. I really don't fancy biking it all down that road. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm feeling crazy enough. The thing is, I've got enough fuel. Let me try and let me top this thing up. If I could, if I could bike it back, it'd be a lot more convenient, you know. Okay, let's pop that open. Make sure we've got a full tank. There we go. I'm trying to think if there's a, a shortcut way there, but I just don't think there is, you know? And if I drive this thing on the main road, I'm probably going to die. Come on. Why won't you start? Okay, now you're definitely on. This is random. Thank you. Alright. I have a death wish. What could possibly go wrong, guys? This is going to be the longest journey I've ever done on the bike. I've got to be out of my mind to do this. Look at this. First person racing. <laughs> oh my god. If I go the dirt track route, I've only got to worry about the green car. If I go on the road, I've got to worry about ten different cars. But I don't have to worry about the dirt track. It's a tough choice. I'm thinking, I'm thinking let's take the train track and then the dirt track and get back to the shop that way. And then throw the bike in the back of the van and we can drive it all home later. 
Oh my god, this has gone from bad to worse. I can't believe that happened. All it did was went down a slope and died. How does that even work? Okay. Let's see how I get on. So far, so good. Just bombing it down this bit, this bit of track here whilst trying to keep checking for the train. I don't know what speed I'm doing, but this feels like insanely quick right now. Alright. Track and then the dirt track. And then we'll be home dry. And hopefully I won't die in a tree this time. You know, as I'm driving along here, I can't help but just be super, super paranoid about the fact that the green car could come round the corner any second. Oh my god! <laughs> or I could just be in the middle of the road when he does. Mind you, I don't think the green car's going to kill me. I think I'm going to kill myself. But you just don't know where he is. I feel like I'm doing the rally. Yo! <laughs> oh, God. Okay. That wasn't the best corner ever. I think I'm leaning too much. This is basically like having a push bike with an engine. Actually, it's like having a 12 year old push bike with an engine. This thing is so small. But yeah, this is this is quite hilly now, so anything can come over the top of these hills. But if we get through this bit, we're home free. Oh my god! What factor seven, Mr. Sulu? This is nuts! <laughs> the speedometer is just... Oh, crikey, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, I'm going to die in a fireball. I'm having fun, though. I wonder what the quickest time you could actually do the rally course on this thing is. Oh, God, he's here. He's here. No! No! Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? I only pressed, I tapped the brake and fell into the grass and died in a fireball. This game is killing me. Oh my God, so now my, my bike is in the middle of the road? My van is near the boat? The boat is near the shop? Kill me now. Right, end of the video, I'm done. To be continued. <laughs> See you next time, guys.